Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. During a conference in Paris, France, on February 26, 2024, attended by European leaders and officials, Canadian Defence Minister Bill Blair articulated Canada's commitment to enhancing its defence manufacturing capabilities. Canada has pledged 4.4 million Canadian dollars, equivalent to 3.3 million US dollars, to ramp up the production of 155 mm artillery shells, a NATO standard munition highly sought after by Ukraine amidst its ongoing conflict with Russia. The initiative aims to address the urgent need for these munitions by accelerating production at IMT Defense in Ingersoll, Ontario, and at two General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems facilities in Quebec. During the Ottawa Conference on Security and Defense, Minister Blair emphasized ongoing collaborations with the defense industry to augment munitions production in Canada. While a specific timeline for the production increase was not disclosed, the announcement underscores Canada's proactive stance in supporting Ukraine's defense efforts against Russian aggression. Earlier in the year, Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustam Yumarov underscored the critical issue of munitions shortage, labeling it as shell hunger, which poses a significant challenge for Ukrainian forces, particularly two years after Russia's large-scale invasion. However, Canada's support for Ukrainian forces on the front lines extends beyond this initiative. Canada has also declared its participation in a Czech initiative aimed at supplying Ukraine with 155mm shell sourced from countries outside Europe, including South Korea, Japan, and others. With financial support from 18 countries, including Canada, Denmark, Germany, France, and Norway, the Czech Republic has amassed 800,000 artillery shells for Ukraine. This action seeks to alleviate the acute shortage of munitions in Ukraine. The delivery of the shells, including 500,000 of 155mm caliber and 300,000 of 122mm caliber, could commence in the coming weeks, contingent upon the Czech Ministry of Defense finalizing procurement documents promptly. In January, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, inked a contract worth 1.1 billion euros, approximately 1.2 billion dollars, to supply hundreds of thousands of 155 mm artillery shells. A portion of these shells is designated for Ukraine, with initial deliveries anticipated by the end of 2025, representing a significant stride in international efforts to furnish military aid to Ukraine. Apart from bolstering its production, Canada is engaged in other endeavors aimed at supporting the Ukrainian war effort or enhancing its own 155mm munition production capacity. Given the evolving nature of Ukraine's conflict and military doctrines, this production capacity has become a critical concern, and Canada appears to be keeping pace with these developments. That's all for now, see you later.